Today topic is 10 minutes indoor training for surfing. Every morning I do 10 minutes indoor training program to improve surfing skills. The process is have several steps. First, agility. Agility is an important activity to avoid injuries. When we do surfing, we need to aware of dangerous situation. For example, when we fall down, waves come, we should avoid waves. When we surfing and then in front of us, someone in the water, it might uh, we hit the people or board. Also, when we fall down, if we don't move quickly and other surfers surfing toward to, toward us, it, it one of the reasons to crash to hit suffer each other. That is a uh, uh, result of uh, serious injuries. So, and then we should know about uh, how to move quickly, how to do aware about uh, dangerous situation. That is a agility program. When I practice uh, agility, I doing rolling. covering my head. When we think about uh, safety from the outside uh, danger, we first we protect our head because uh, head is a very important part in our body. Head is, a, when head injury, it could be serious uh, injury. Head is uh, and other organs uh, on our face, for example, eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, and ears, some face. That is a much more important part and should protect first. And also doing, uh, moving quickly, moving quickly to do rolling, uh, it has um, recovery and aware all the processes have for the agility. The surfing is also similar when um, we uh, fall down, that means we should take care of uh, in the water our body or moving and the water condition should uh, various situation. So we need to uh, adjust, adapt to the situation to protect ourselves. The second stage is training core and balance and sometimes flexibility. The core training is from the strength and balance. To do, to, to improve the core, and then I practice uh, headstand using both hands, sometimes arms, and then I try to keep balance upside down. When I had stand with the, when I do had a stand with the two hands, and the center of my core strength because uh, uh, my body is uh, straightly upside down in which uh, my organs, my uh, 
balance uh, is uh, nearly centered in my body. Center in my body. So in the core practice uh, is uh, improved by standing with the head and hands, arms. After then, third stage is animal flow. Animal flow is a very good activity because surfers do sub activity, sub movement uh, is very unique. And first, when we paddle out, we need to paddling and we should uh, penetrate uh, waves or um, we should uh, jump over the waves with the uh, paddling our skills. And then we should wait the waves to line up and when we find the good waves to lie we need to paddling very quickly, uh, turning first. Turning fast and paddling quickly and taking off fast and get the balance and then low position and moving and we should do front side sliding and backside sliding. We need to turn, bottom turn or top turn or change direction. That is the control of uh, support. And also, this is uh, uh, good surface uh, skills. While we are doing, and then our body is very, very uh, diverse postures. We have diverse postures until we are doing something, finishing and fall down and recovery back, that activity is uh, again and again. We should uh, avoid the dangers uh, by proper balance, uh, proper uh, postures. So and then animal flow give us uh, many activities. For example, uh, cat's crow and bear's crow and also the crab's crow, and crocodile's crow, and spider's crow, and monkey crow, monkey workings. And then there are many, many uh, situations uh, when uh, we follow the animal flow, and our movement is very lower because uh, most of animals are four-legged animals um, instead of a monkey. And then four-legged animals, uh, their center of weight is very low and low position makes uh, uh, another muscles strong. And also uh, this, when we do surfing, the surfing posture and very low position to get balance uh, to movement uh, uh, in the water. So following the animal flow is a very good activity. The first uh, step is logging on uh, the wood and then working on the wood, uh, getting balance like uh, this is working on the one the loaf and or other balance skills by working on the low or wood and then uh, the posture is uh, look like uh, and a little bend the knee when it's the same as uh, when we learn first time learn about paddleboard we uh, got a position a little bit lower then and we can do uh, practice logging at the same as uh, we uh, surfing on the longboard. Uh, longboard surfing is a uh, beginner's level or intermediate level is very important because it's very enjoyable. While we're surfing, we, when we are good at, 
logging, the performance is very good. The surfing is more enjoyable. And also, uh, the fifth step is a balance board. I use a balance board to get balance and then movements better and then core better. Uh, the balance board is a good core balance, uh, as same as uh, surfing skills. And that is uh, as same as uh, the surfing skill. That is a uh, good for uh, surfing postures and then doing following surfing uh, performance. I'll repeat it reversely uh, with this step. The balance, again, the login, the animal floor, and core on the yoga mat, and then on the mat, uh, agility for the safety. About 10 minutes, uh, I follow indoor training programs to improve the surfing skills. Today, I talk about uh, improve uh, surfing skill indoor program. Uh, and this is uh, about uh, training. This is about voice uh, diary and then to improve uh, my speaking and then easy way to write. I decided one topic and then I talk about it in English. And by speaking, I want to improve the, my pronunciation, the structure of the sentence. I aware and uh, by speaking with the voice typing, and then some of the pronunciation uh, I should little 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 change. Uh, to speak properly, you know, need more practice about it. And then maybe um, the weakness of uh, some of the words pronunciation like uh, F, uh, V sound is, uh, uh, we, we need to practice a lot. And or our sound is the same, uh, and maybe uh, sometimes I should talk about it, uh, the pronunciation of a specific sound, inviting that I aware about the pronunciation put it together, and then also the uh, R sound, a sound like uh, walk, work, walk. Work, work is a is different. So and then, uh, even talking about the pronunciation, and then maybe that will be good. After voice typing, I copy this, uh, and then I ask the ChatGPT to proofread what I did, and then uh, original. Uh, content has no uh, period mark, no function. So, and then uh, it doesn't like uh, uh, sentence. The chat GPT form, AI form is like article or story. They have paragraph automatically and they, have, they are aware of the sentence from the uh, subject to verb or other uh, paragraph or uh, phrases, then and the AI can give a report uh, proper writing. That is a good way to uh, using uh, voice typing. Nowadays, AI is really helpful uh, tool to improve uh, any language. Even voice typing is possible, Korean, Vietnamese. But I I don't mm, try, I only try English. And so um, 
later, if I have a good pronouncing with the Vietnamese, and I try to write in Vietnamese step by step, uh, it might be possible in compared to uh, doing voice typing in English. This topic is one minute, uh, 10 minute indoor training session for surfing. Every morning I engage in a 10 minute indoor training program to improve various skills. The process involves several steps. Firstly, agility is crucial. Agility training helps us avoid injuries by making us more aware of dangerous situations. For example, when we encounter waves while surfing, we must navigate them skillfully to avoid the collision with the other surfer or the object in the water. Agile training teaches us to uh, teaches us to react quickly and move efficiently to prevent accidents. When practicing agility, I focus on covering my head and protecting the head is essential as it has vital organs like the brain, eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, and ears. By learning to protect our head during pose and collision, we can prevent serious injuries. The second stage of training involves core strength, balance, and sometimes flexibility. Core exercises such as headstand and balancing on hands and uh, or arms help strengthen the muscles that support our posture and stability. These exercises improve our ability to maintain balance, especially in challenging surfing positions. Next. I incorporate the animal flow exercises into my routine. Animal flow involves mimicking the movement of the various animals, which helps improve the coordination, strength, and flexibility. These movements simulate the action required in surfing, such as paddling, turning, and maintaining balance on the board. By following the animal flow routines, I work on developing a lower center of gravity, similar to that of animals. This lower position strengths and different muscle groups and improve stability, which is essential for surfing. In addition to indoor exercises, I also practice surfing techniques on land. Practicing on a yoga mat or balancing on a wooden board helps simulate the feeling of being a surfer. By practicing different surfing posture and maneuver, I can improve my skill to techniques even when I am not in the water. Today, I will discuss my indoor training program for improving certain skills by speaking about it and using voice typing. Um, I aim to enhance my pronunciation sentence structure and the overall speaking proficient in English. I'm aware that certain sounds like all and W may require more practice to pronounce it correctly. However, I am committed to improving my language skills through consistent practice and experimentation with voice typing. Ultimately, I believe this will help me become a better communicator in English and possibly explore voice typing in other languages like Korean and Vietnamese in the future. It is good, uh, but voice typing is Syrian, and then I didn't check out uh, it lost. Uh, uh, about logging and uh, using balance board. Uh, but this time, at uh, uh, AI gives uh, uh, fundamental uh, uh, sentence structure. And I, I, I will uh, follow a little bit in my case. I practice uh, better. 
Yeah.